Welcome to the peaceful Earth Druid Grove on the beautiful Isle of Wight, a small island off the south coast of England. Join our circle as we celebrate Auburn Arthur, the winter solstice. And welcome with us the rebirth of the Mabon, the child of light, who brings the gentle flame of hope at this midnight of the year. By star and stone, by the power of the land within and without, by all that is fair and free, we are Druid. We believe in and celebrate the spirituality of all life. We are one with the community of the natural world and the ever-flowing tide of the season, honoring all, past, present and future. Our life is a journey, seeking spiritual awakening, inspiration and wisdom through the Arwen. We are Druid. Together we stand, with the earth beneath us, the sky above us, and the sea around us. Blessed be. At this time of the winter solstice, when Holly represents the Holly King, the king of the waning year, now comes the blessed mistletoe, representing the Oak King, king of the waxing year. At this nadir of the year, at the center of this sacred circle, we hail the king of the trees. We praise the glory of the oak, the bringer of prophecy, the symbol of the eternal and the infinite, as the tide now turns to its supremacy over the holy king. And at this time of greatest dark, cut with golden blade of crescent moon from the mighty oak, we again hail the mistletoe, all heal, born between the skies and earth. For the white berries of the mistletoe also represent the male fecundity of the sky father, invoking fertility on all within this world and a clarion call of his awakening power. For in every death is the seed of birth, and in the darkness of the longest night as we await the dawning of the waxing year, the Earth Mother takes the seed of life from the Sky Father, symbolized by the mistletoe, so that the Mabon, the Son of Light, may be reborn once more, our hope for the future. Sacred Mistletoe, guardian against nature's perils, source of truth, peace and healing, bringer of good fortune and happiness, we honor you this day. By fire, I thrice bless you, beloved herald of the Sky Father that awakens this day. By water, I thrice bless you, for it is by the waters that flow through the realm of the Earth Mother that your message of peace and happiness will be carried to all. I now cast the blessed mistletoe to the waters. Go forth to all quarters of our world and spread your message, love and peace to all. May your bright berries and vibrant leaves be a guiding light through the darkness of winter. So may it be. Earth Mother, Lady of Fertility, who gives life and shelter to us all, whose gentle embrace enfolds the world, bringing fruitfulness to the land. As your mantle changes to the frosts of winter, lacing the barren trees and hedgerows with diamonds, we honour and bless you for your love and the bountiful harvest that will sustain us during the cold winter months ahead. Welcome, Earth Mother, into our circle. 
blessed be. Sky Father, we honour you. Rested from your labour, you are now reborn. We welcome you, my born, child of light. On behalf of all life, we bless your new energy and returning power that you lovingly give to us all. Welcome, Sky Father, into our circle. Blessed be. Gentle spirits of this place, we gather here and honour you as we feel the first chills of winter descend on the land. We share with you the majestic beauty to this noble island that is your home and we bless you for sharing these gifts with us. Welcome spirits of this place into our circle. Blessed be. Revered ancestors, we ask you to join us today and share with us the joy and happiness of this Alban Arthen celebration. Come join us and stand with us. Allow us to feel your presence. We, your kin of blood and family, of clan and line, are honoured to be here with you. Welcome ancestors into our circle. Blessed be. With the blessing of the Hawk of Dawn soaring in the clear blue sky, I call upon the spirits of the East and of air. Spirits, bring the breath of life from the realm of clouds and birds. Bring inspiration blown on the wind. Hail and welcome. With the blessing of the great stag in the heat of the chase, I call upon the spirits of the South and of fire. Spirits, Bring the warming spark of fire, of starlight and of sunlight. Bring the fire of transformation and renewal. Hail and welcome. With the blessing of the summon of wisdom within the sacred waters of the pool, I call upon the spirits of the west and of water, spirits from rain, snow, rivers and lakes, and the great encircling ocean from which all life came, Bring the waters of feeling and emotion. Hail and welcome. With the blessing of the great bear of the starry heavens and of the deep and fruitful earth, I call upon the spirits of the north and of earth, spirits from metal and stone, hill and valley, that bear and nourish all life, bring strength and balance. Hail and welcome. May there be peace in this place and throughout the whole world. There is no honour in conflict. We choose peace, we choose love, we choose life. Together we stand for peace, together we act for peace. Let each of us be a channel for peace. Peace in our hearts, peace in our lives, peace in the world. Deep within the still centre of my being, May I find peace. Silently within the quiet of the grove, may I share peace. Gently within the greater circle of humankind, may I radiate peace. Within this circle and in the apparent world, we gather to celebrate Alban Arthen, the winter solstice. The warm breezes of high summer are a memory. For long weeks, we have lived with the growing dark. We have endured endless rain and mists and yearned for the intensity of light. Now the ground is hard, rimmed with frost, 
Spiders' webs glitter in the foggy air. All creatures of earth, water and air, have been in darkness, seeking their way in visions and dreams. The land sleeps. Now we stand at the winter solstice. I proclaim this time of greatest night. As one, we stand in this circle and attend the triumph of the dark. Let us now feel the darkness with our minds and our hearts and mourn that which is finished and dying. Only when we have mourned the passing of the old can rebirth occur. When we let go of our longing for the past, we are free to nurture the still small light of hope in our hearts. Let us cast away whatever impedes the return of the light. Let us mourn all that has gone before and is no more. As the cold and dark have grown strong, we mourn the passing of the bright days. The warm breezes of high summer are a memory. The oak is bare and the earth is cold. Since the beginning of time, we have gathered in this season to celebrate the rebirth of the sun. On the winter solstice, the darkest of nights, the longest night of winter, and the dark night of our souls, there springs the new spark of hope. For we stand at the turning point. At this moment of greatest darkness, the sun stands still in the sky then turns and begins its long journey back to the light and the warmth. Though we have many more long weeks of darkness, still we know the light is growing, the year is turning. And so we gather here to await that new light. And as the maiden, who is also mother and crone, prepares to welcome the sun, let us all join with her to welcome the new yearly cycle as it now begins, bringing new light and hope to all on earth. We take this light in blessing to all corners of this land to symbolize the return of the sun to our lives. May joy and blessing grow with the sun. We call upon the spirit of water, the spirit of earth, of the womb of creation, of the night and the snows of winter, deep roots and ancient stones. Hail the fertile darkness of the north, life and light is reborn. We call upon the spirit of spring, the spirit of air, the breath of life, of sunrise, and of new life and of new growth. Hail the gentle breath of the East. Life and light is reborn. We call upon the spirit of summer, the spirit of fire, of energy, of passion, spirit of the noonday sun, the heat of summer, vitality and abundance. Hail the rekindled spark of the South. Life and light is reborn. We call upon the spirit of autumn, the spirit of water, of the ebb and flow of emotion, of open seas and running streams, of cleansing rain, spirit of the evening sun, of twilight and of autumn. Hail the icy waters of the west, life and light is reborn. Let a new fire be lit in the depths of our souls. Let us proclaim the rebirth of the sun, the Mabon, the youngest one, who from the womb of the great mother is born in silence and weakness as the smallest of lights in this the midnight of the year. Let us proclaim the creation of all things, the revolution of all that is past towards a new good. The Mabon is born. Now awake, earth, sea, and sky. The brightness of the reborn sun calls out to the return of life. 
Hail the Mabon, who comes to this place as a child of future generations. We bless you for your gift, which is the gentle flame of hope that each new life brings into this world. Hail all those that came before us. Hail the Mabon and all those who follow us. All see the turning of the wheel, the endless cycle that connects us all, so may it be. As our celebration of Alban Arthur draws to its closing, let us pause and think of all those who are suffering and all those who are destitute from the increasing effects of climate change on our beautiful world. Storms, floods, droughts and wildfires have touched so many of the Earth Mother's children in the natural world and our thoughts and prayers are with them all as they struggle for life in the face of such adversity. Earth Mother, we ask for your blessing on them all. Please keep them safe, and in your love, please bless and keep safe those who brave and prevail against the drought, fire and storm to save the lives and homes of all your children. Today, our thoughts and prayers are also with all of those who are grieving or suffering from illness, infirmity and injury. Earth Mother, we ask for your blessing on them all. May they find strength and healing in your embrace and serenity and dignity in the warmth of your gentle love. Earth Mother, we also ask for your blessings on all of those who are caring for and supporting the sick and the injured. May their hearts be gentle and loving and may they be filled with the fortitude, courage, sympathy and compassion which you bestow through your tender love on all those in your care in the natural world. So may it be. Earth Mother, blessed source of all life, who is the boundless sea and the clear air and the fruitful earth, your presence is everywhere. Creator, preserver and eternal renewer, from whom we were born and to whom we shall return. May we live our lives in your reverence and in gratitude to you. May we harm not the delicate web of existence, but help to heal and strengthen it. You who feed and nourish us, showering us with your abundant gifts, we honour and praise you now and vow to walk according to your ways for all the days of our lives. In love and peace, so may it be. Earth Mother, you are called by many names through the wheel of the year. Gentle maiden, fresh from childhood, with your bright eyes of innocence, we ask you to help us to see the beauty of the natural world as you see it. Loving mother to all, blooming and full of life, we ask you to nourish and bless us with your loving care. Wise crone, honoured elder, who has known and understood the mysteries of life over countless years, we ask you to grant us your wisdom to understand our lives and the new steps we take each day. Blessed be. May the light of love and devotion shine brightly in our hearts. May the light of understanding shine clearly in our minds. May the light of harmony be forever in our homes. And may the light of peace shine forth from our being. And may the light of our presence bring love and peace to all, wherever we may go. In the name of the great bear of the starry heavens, and the element of earth, I thank the spirits of the north. Hail and farewell. In the name of the salmon of wisdom and of the element of water, I thank the spirits of the west. Hail and farewell. In the name of the great stag and the element of fire, I thank the spirits of the south. Hail and farewell. In the name of the hawk of dawn and the element of air, I thank the spirits of the east. Hail and farewell. Earth Mother, Sky Father, spirits of this place, revered ancestors, 
We thank you and bless you for your presence in our circle today. Hail and farewell. May the harmony of the lands be complete. This celebration ends in peace as in peace it began. May the joys of this ritual and the blessings we have received go with us all as we depart this place to nourish, strengthen and sustain us until we meet again. May the blessings of the Earth Mother and the Sky Father be with us always. I declare this rite and ceremony of Auburn Arthur in the grove of the peaceful Earth closed in the apparent world. May its inspiration live on within our beings. Thank you all so very much for sharing with us.